Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. Okay, today's magic trick involves a little bit of mind reading. So I'd like you to make your mind a complete blank. For most of you, that's not going to be a big stretch. But now I'd like you to prepare yourself for a trip around the world. Fasten your seatbelt. It may be a bumpy ride. Here we go. Think of any number between 1 and 10. Got it? Now multiply that number by 9. I'll wait if you have to go get your calculator. If the result of that multiplied number by 9 is a two-digit number, add the two digits together. Okay, do you have that? Now, I would like you to subtract 5 from that number. That's going to be your lucky number, so concentrate on the number you've just arrived at. Now, I would like you to convert that lucky number into a letter in the alphabet. If, uh, if it was a number 1, then you would uh, think of the letter A. If it's number 2, think of the letter B. 3, C, and so forth. Okay, do you have a letter? Now, as we travel around the world, I want you to concentrate and think of a country that begins with that letter. Visualize that country. Now, in your mind, I want you to picture how it's spelled. Look at the second letter in that country and imagine, if you will, just for a moment, a large animal that begins with that letter. Do you have it? Now, quick. Think of the color of that animal. Wait a minute, that's impossible. There are no gray elephants in Denmark. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. There are no gray elephants in Denmark. You know, as I was telling you the story about the gray elephant in Denmark, it occurred to me, maybe I should have a root tip of the week with something gray. And I got to thinking about it a bit, and I thought, well, maybe MTA, gray MTA, we could talk about, but we've already discussed that. And I thought about some other gray areas in dentistry, and while I was trying to figure out which to use, uh, somebody brought me a cup of coffee, and they had put cream in the coffee, and the coffee was gray. Now, what does that have to do with dentistry? A lot of times, patients come to your office, and they say, you know, doc, it hurts when I drink hot coffee. And a lot of times, it's difficult to duplicate that sensation. So here's an idea. Why not heat some coffee up in the microwave and let the patient put that in their mouth? It will heat up the tooth and cause the pain that they've been having. Then take an ice pencil or ethyl chloride uh, into ice, something like that, and touch one tooth at a time until you find the tooth that the pain goes away with the cold. In other words, heat the tooth up with the hot coffee and let the uh, cold take away the pain. And that's a lot easier than trying to just put hot on individual teeth. Now, you could put hot gutta percha, get a stick of gutta percha, or you could put compound, stick of compound. But if you do that, really be careful and make sure that you coat the tooth with Vaseline first because you don't want to get a stick of hot gutta percha stuck to the tooth and not be able to take that away. So anyway, hot coffee actually retains the heat longer than just plain hot water. Now, you might worry, well, hot coffee is going to be a little too hot, but the temperature of hot coffee is around 150 to 160 or 170 degrees, whereas the hot gutta perch is 190, so that's pretty close and it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, one last thing. If you use hot coffee, be sure and ask the patient, when you use your coffee and drink your coffee, do you put a lot of sugar in it? Because it just might be the sugar that's causing the pain rather than the heat. So you might try coffee with sugar, coffee without sugar, and then see if it makes a difference with that patient. Anyway, I know that's kind of a gray area in diagnosis, but hopefully uh, that'll help you with your diagnosis in the future. So in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. See you later. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to join me at our very next root camp. So long for now.